Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, this is going to be a love and romance reading for February 2021. This is going to be a reading for singles or if you're in a partnership, we're going to see where you are and all the energies around you and what's coming towards you in February 2021. Now, before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading. Or if you like the decks that I'm using, I've got them listed and linked below in order of appearance. Also, don't be afraid to leave a comment. Um, and also, ring that notification bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload new information. New information. New videos or content, which I do quite frequently. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and see what's going on with you guys for Love and Romance, February 2021. Okay, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay, there's a lot that you can't see at the moment. Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. Two of Swords, Three of Swords, all right, Aries, and we get the Chariot in reverse, interesting. I keep getting, okay, there may be some, this may be a reconciliation, Aries, for some of you. Ooh, I like it. Okay, overall energy, Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are absolutely dealing with a Cancer. I see the Chariot card. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, because we've got water all around you. We also have air. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, so just take that into consideration. Um, it could be in your chart or it could be an energy that you're attached to. The Queen of Cups is about intuition. It's about, it's a very maternal energy. Um, it's, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of nurturing. This could be how somebody sees you or it could be how you see someone else. But there is a lot of love here, Aries. Now, you guys are being shown as the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. Aries, you might be involved with somebody, maybe a water sign here, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but I'm picking up on Aries, you being very masculine energy. Whether you're fe male or female, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Excuse me. If this is a connection. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. If this is a connection... Um, it may have, you may have come to like a full stop here for one reason or the other. I feel like maybe because well, there's some sort of resistance. There could have been interference from somebody else. Okay. I do feel like though that this is a, this is like a reconciliation. This is somebody that you've been dealing with Aries. And I feel like you decided to stop putting your energy into this situation for one reason or the other. Could be that there were work responsibilities. It could be that you weren't trusting this person. Again, we have this unknown card coming out. But in your surroundings, it's like you or this person want to come back to each other. Eight of Cups. So something's coming back. Um, but the Eight of Cups in reverse takes me to the Seven of Cups. It's kind of like there's some fears. There's some illusions. Um, it could be areas that you wanted to keep your options open or maybe this person. But either way, there's something here that's coming back to you. We don't really know what's holding you back <laughs> with the unknown card. Um, you know, spirit is coming through really strong here to let you know there are some things that we just can't see. Some of you might be really trying to figure out why this connection stopped or why you or this person stopped putting energy into this connection. Um, spirit's not really telling us why but is saying sort of like for me, it's very loud and clear that there was a reason for this. There was divine inter intervention. There was divine timing involved with this separation. Okay. Or, or the loss of this connection for some of you, it could be this, it could be a rejection that somebody left or you left them um, for whatever reason. And I'm getting like rejection as protection here. But for many of you guys, it was a relationship where it was very, very strong between you and things came to a stop but I do feel like it's coming back around, all right? Um, the Wheel of Fortune is telling me this is destiny. Again, this could be Aquarius, Leo, um, Taurus, or Scorpio energy coming through here. But again, this, this, is, this is destiny, whether it's this partnership or the ending of this partnership, okay? But Spirit wants you to know that things are going to be moving in your favor. So whatever's going on here, Aries, just rest assured that things are getting better, in your recent past, there was some sort of resistance or there was some sort of choice to make. 
Um, you know, there could have been an ultimatum. Um, it could be that your person had a choice to make or was refusing to take any action. Again, feel free to swap the energies here, Aries. But in refusing to take action or no decision is is a decision, right? Or non-action is also, you know, very telling here. So there was some sort of resistance, some sort of lack of clarity. Again, this could be you guys pulling your energy back or your person. Um, the Three of Swords is what's coming in from above. So there was some sort of heartbreak or sadness. For some of you, it could have been that you or this person chose somebody else. Um, again, it could be third party interference, which doesn't have to be another lover. It could be friends, family. I'm also picking up, it could have been work. Like it could be like your person is a workaholic or you have too much work or too much going on to focus on relationships right now. So, you know, that was, you know, maybe somebody asked you to choose and you were like, Hey, I've got to do what I got to do. Okay. Um, we have the chariot. So this is Cancerian energy. So again, it's kind of like things are stagnant here between you guys and again I'm picking up somebody here it might be a workaholic Aries it could be your person it could be you the devil energy with the four of pentacles somebody's like not opening up here somebody doesn't want to give up either being single or somebody's really working on living their dream making their dreams come true and that's why this relationship is quite stagnant okay for some of you though the chariot in reverse is, is like they're connecting it to the eight of cups in reverse for me that somebody's coming back to you all right, and um, and with the devil energy, there's like this magnetic pull between you guys, um, but it's still there's there's this resistance showing up in the Four of Pentacles. It's going to require that one or both of you, you know, come to a compromise or release someone or something in order to come back to each other because there is new love. Now, some of you guys are going to walk away from a situation because you're seeing that they're not changing. So you might be dealing with somebody who's a workaholic or you might be dealing with somebody who has addictions or some sort of codependent behavior and it's keeping you stuck and you're going to you're going to make a choice to move towards a new love. All right, so let's get some more information for my Aries. Again, the four of pentacles with the devil card, it's something there that may be keeping you stuck and it's, um, you know, it, it can be anything. Wow. All right, so we've got the Five of Swords. So there's a lot of conflict here. Um, you know, Aries, if there's been like abuse or emotional manipulation or somebody being very, very selfish, you know, Spirit is saying like no matter how much love is in this situation, you know, there's something new and beautiful waiting for you, but it's going to take you doing that work. For others of you, you know, it's like win or lose. You know, it's like the time the time has come to make a decision here. Okay? And and make the best decision for you. Because I feel like you might have always been trying to you know, make the best decision for the both of you or for everyone involved. And this 5 of swords energy is like something some of us are uncomfortable with, putting ourselves first but you're being asked to do that. So we get a uh, detached. So this might be a very important soul connection for you. Um, I do feel like you might be in separation currently. Um, things might be really imbalanced. This is Libran energy. Things might have been really unfair. This person may have also treated you very unfairly, Aries, and that's really on your mind there with the Three of Swords. There's that soulmate energy, but there is a lot of love here. You guys have a past. All right, so this is definitely a past person. So with this Ace of Cups, though, it's telling me that there's a new beginning for you guys if you want to reconcile, okay? And you might not quite understand why you had to go through the hardships or the separation that you guys have been in. But for others of you, again, the, the universe is pulling you away from this person so that you can come into union with, you know, with, with love, with a soulmate that matches your energy, um, yeah, so the five of wands here is there have been a lot of challenges. Um, I feel like some of you may have been involved with somebody that had a lot of different options or you had to compete for uh, their attention. Okay. Um, but it could just be, you know, with all of these fives coming out, you know, it's about a lot of conflict and spirit wants you to move out of that conflict, but it's going to require you really detaching and moving away from something that you almost feel like you need. It could be that you and this person are on a karmic loop here with the wheel. 
Okay, but you have to see how it's keeping you stuck. And in removing yourself from that, there's new love. For others of you, you know, it could be within a relationship. You guys have been experiencing a lot of difficulties and challenges. If you can really work through what's been holding you back, there's a new cycle waiting for you. All right, we get the Empress in reverse. So I'm getting energy of a third party situation here for some of you. Um, I feel you already know that, okay? It's not gonna, this is not like surprise because you've got the three of swords uh, coming in from above on your mind. Again, you might not be sure if you can trust this person because of any past actions. Um, I feel like you also know like your needs aren't being met, okay? Especially if you are identifying as the divine feminine. All right, again, you guys might have a very back and forth relationship here. Um, because look, I'm also getting the two of swords. So this could be you or your person sort of refusing to see. Um, and you might be staying together. You might constantly come back to each other because you feel like it's stable, because you guys know each other, because this is comfortable. All right, but, and again, moving on, something coming back to you. But there's a need for grounding. There's a need to sort of see see the cycle here in your love life or in this particular relationship. And I feel like many of my Aries out there, you guys aren't getting your needs met. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else comes through here for my dear Aries regarding love and relationships. February, 2021. All right, we get the fate. So destiny is on your side. So you guys have to really trust what's going on here. The universe is going to provide for you. For some of you, this there, there's a this energy. If you guys are healing and clearing the energy between you in this particular relationship, fate, destiny, the universe is bringing you guys new love between you guys. For others of you, they are absolutely taking this person away. It's a karmic situation and they're bringing you something new that's adequate, soulmate energy, you know, where, where there's peace, where there's bliss, where there's unconditional love. And we get mending. Yeah, so many of you guys, you're absolutely healing from the situation. Some of you, again, it has to apply to your situation. Some of you guys are healing a connection with someone and some of you guys are healing and moving on to something new. All right, but we have all that glitters. Yeah, some illusions need to be shattered here, okay, about the way you see yourself in this relationship or in love in general or illusions about this person. And you need to trust your intuition. There's a reason, though, that you guys have been going through these challenges, all right? This is karma. This is healing and clearing of karma between you and this person. So some of you might be closing out a karmic contract with this person. And that might mean that you guys move on to a better life together. Or it might be that you're moving on to somebody brand new. So I'm going to very quickly just tell you why I'm flip-flopping here. Because Aries, I tried to do another reading for you. And I got so confused because I kept getting the same messages. The cards were really different. For some of you, it was like close out this karmic connection and move on. And then others was like closing out this karmic connection between you guys and reconciling. And absolutely, I mean, these are, these are your messages because I didn't even publish that video because I started getting confused. It ended up being messy. And then now I find myself in the same situation. <laughs> like for some of you, you know, this stuck situation, either way, it's going to get moving. It's either with a new person or it's with your person. So you absolutely have to trust your instincts here. Okay, trust your intuition and trust that the universe is, you know, the universe wants you to succeed, okay, wants you to be happy. And so whatever is happening, you might not quite understand with that unknown card. You know, the, the universe works in mysterious ways. And I love how we just got a little burst of light there. So we must be on to something. Marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. Sacred union. Yeah, some of you guys, yeah, you're closing out a tough cycle. And you're taking it to the next level. Interference. An external party is in intruding on this relationship. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. This could be a past person or a past situation. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be work. Okay. And then we get intuition. You already know the answer you seek. Yeah. So I was banging on about you guys needing to trust your intuition for a reason. 
because it is going to be different for every one of you. All right, so we get passion, so yummy. Aries, there's a lot of passion between you guys. And again, that devil energy, it could be this like passionate reunion as well. Release your ex. Yeah. Release your ex. Yeah, some of you guys, again, this is letting go of that person so new love can come into your life. Could be that you've been involved with somebody that had somebody else on the side or was still with their ex. I'm telling you, these are like very similar messages, but different cards from the reading I didn't publish for you guys. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, there is going to be, there. you do need to have some sort of heart-to-heart -heart conversation here, Aries. One way or the other. Mm, okay. Oh, this is one of my favorite cards. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Yeah. Aries, your person loves you. For many of you guys, you're going to be healing. Healing your connection. It's moving towards a higher commitment. For others of you, there's love waiting for you and you're clearing out a karmic situation. Okay, I wish I could be more clear than that, but it's going to be different for you guys. So take it how it resonates. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.